Okay, so last week I came up with a video on HDD, hard disk drive, and today I'll be talking about an alternative uh, storage method which is called SSD. SSD is known as a solid state drive and it is a solid state storage device that uses integrated circuit and it uses these assemblies to store data persistently and it uses flash memory. What is flash memory? Usually if you use uh, thumb drives and your phone, they all use flash memories to keep this data stored inside. And SSDs do not depend on spinning disk or moving parts like hard disk. Instead, they use semiconductor chips to send and receive data. These chips are divided into pages which store the data. One benefit of SSD should be immediately apparent. Since they have no moving parts, they can run at speed far above those of traditional HDDs. They're usually used in laptops these days. It can be an internal SSD or an external SSD, same with HDD. One of the benefits is that since they use less parts, uh, less moving parts, they are less likely to experience damage from vibrations, drops, accidents, and other wear and tear. So if you happen to drop an SSD, uh, you don't have to worry too much about your data being lost because they are typically more durable than HDDs. And less moving parts also mean that SSDs are much faster. In fact, it is 10 times more faster, offering an almost instant load performance. And compared to a HDD, which is uh, typically heavy, SDDs are lightweight since they use light lightweight components, which makes them more easy to carry compared to HDDs. They also don't require as much power to operate as hard drives do. And this means that if you're using a phone with limited battery life, you will get more battery life if you use an SSD and it also means it's more efficient in storing data and receiving data. However, it also has a certain disadvantage since they use less moving parts. The disadvantages of solid state drives is that they are more expensive than hard drives of the same capacity. And due to the unique file system structure, data extraction can be extremely difficult and lengthy to process in case you crash one of these uh, devices. And because of the data recovery process, that is why they are expensive. Also, another thing is, the memory chips in an SSD have a limited number of write cycle, which means after a certain time, it can lead to unrecoverable data loss. However, you don't need to really worry about this because it uh, typically consists of a few thousand read and write cycles, if not many thousand. So it actually lasts pretty long for an average person and you don't have to worry about this much. However, if you're using your SSD for many years, it could be a problem that you should anticipate and you must always be ready to back up your data. And also another thing, if the controller chip memory cache or one of the NAND type memory chips inside an SSD has been physically damaged, it can, it can mean that your data may be completely inaccessible. So even though an SSD is typically more durable than HDD, it is still not advised that you bang things around because if one of these circuits got damaged, your whole data can be lost. So if you're willing to take the risk, you can enjoy all the benefits of an SSD. Pe uh, typically, many people prefer an SSD over an HDD, especially gamers, since it's more powerful, it's more uh, fast, and it's also more reliable in many situations. Now, um, uh, previously, I've also had many questions of people saying that if they can upgrade the flash memory on their phones, for example, if they have a 128 gig internal memory in their phone, can they upgrade it physically? And the thing is, phones use dedicated flash memory for storage. And unlike an SSD, you can't just open it up and upgrade it. It cannot be upgraded. And if you do tamper with the circuit board, it can lead to all your data being lost, including the programs pre-installed by the phone manufacturers. 
So don't try anything silly. Don't try to upgrade your phone storage. If you have 128 gigabytes on your phone, it remains as 128 gigabytes. You can only expand your storage using a micro SD card. And um, yeah, you can use that to upgrade your memory if you want more storage. But a micro SD card cannot run applications. So it is advised to store your songs, pictures and videos in an SD card and let your internal storage process applications instead. And now you know the benefits of SSD and the disadvantages. So if you want to buy a HDD or an SSD in the future, you can consider this uh, advantages and disadvantages and be sure to select which one that suits you the most. Now that's all for now. If you want more on the latest tech news, please subscribe and leave a like.